Calisthenics and weights is the future of fitness. It's about time we unite the body weight and gym culture. Today, I'm sharing valuable lessons that I've learned while you watch me suffer. Whether you're a purist or a hybrid fan, we can all agree, liking a fitness FAQs video is best. Stop worrying about how much you're lifting. The moment that I realized nobody actually cares was liberating. I started using realistic weights for my strength level and my results skyrocketed. The muscles get stressed without my joints and tendons feeling trashed. Nowadays, I gauge the quality of my workouts based on effort relative to failure. The tenacity in which we tackle our training is 100% in our control. If we're finishing a set with minimal reps in reserve, that's all that we can really ask. I'm no longer fixated on the weight lifted, which has been a huge mental relief. I don't worry if I have to reduce my weights because of life stress or a lack of sleep. Training has been much more rewarding ever since I've shown up with an effort mindset. I'm ready to approach the low or high energy days with appropriate weights. Take agency over your personal practice and auto-regulate. Never be afraid to adjust the weights. This prudent mindset means progress trends upwards while having fun. The argument between people doing calisthenics and lifting weights has to end. There's constant bickering about which one is better. The bodyweight crowd talks trash about gym goers moving poorly. People lifting weights criticize calisthenics athletes for being skinny show-offs. The internet has become an echo chamber, which is basically an environment where a person only encounters information or opinions that reflect their own. We become surrounded by people exactly like us and get caught up in group think. This whole us versus them mentality hinders our potential. The sooner that we can stop thinking in absolutes, one is bad, one is good, the faster that we can learn. Weighted calisthenics is a recipe for success. Improving relative and absolute strength is a unique benefit. You're going to enjoy next level body mastery and also dominate gym exercises. Growing bigger is guaranteed with compound calisthenics. Check out how hard everything is working during a legit set. It simply has to bring results. Basic exercises which are popular deserve your attention. If a movement is commonly used by experts, chances are it's effective. Working hard on time-tested movements is all that you need to see world-class results. Progress is simple by adding weights and it prevents overthinking. There's no limit to how far you can take your journey with persistence. Most people lack discipline. They follow a workout for a few weeks, then move on to something different. Being impatient and wanting instant results is the reason why. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this training thing isn't an overnight process. Forget the 30-day transformations which plague the fitness industry. Changing exercises constantly is great for entertainment, but poor for progress. Don't make this mistake. We must avoid distraction and continue grinding towards our goals. Exercise needs to be treated as a skill. Time and consistency are a constant. Stay patient and strive for performance gains over the long term. We're talking months and years. Yes, the process will become tedious and self-doubt will appear. Don't sell yourself short. The difference between a novice and an expert is staying the course and being consistent. A muscular physique commands respect. Wanting to look good unites us all. There's no shame in wanting to build muscle and feel good about it. The physical changes are supported by enhanced mental toughness. Overcoming discomfort in training is proof that we can apply ourselves in life. Lean into the challenges at school. Be resilient in times of need for friends and family. Channel the same enthusiasm towards sharpening your skills and becoming valuable. Isolation is a good opportunity to cultivate a strong work ethic. Don't be afraid of approaching failure on your final sets. The systemic fatigue is low, injury risk negligible, and the muscle gain is high. The benefits from hybrid workouts have substance beyond the superficial. Combining calisthenics and weights is greater than the sum of its parts. Why should we limit ourselves to one or the other? See you guys.